Well, amazing images are coming in from deep, deep space taken by the world's largest space camera, and it was built right here in the Bay Area. Yeah, that powerful telescope camera is able to shoot images of 20 billion galaxies. That's a lot. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes is at the Slack National Accelerator Laboratory in Menlo Park, where the first images from the telescope are coming in. Zach, what did they look like? Oh, it's so incredible, Julian, and to be able to see the reactions today from the staff here was also amazing. That camera was built here right at Slack, so it was an incredible opportunity for them to finally see those images. The camera was built here and then taken to the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile. It has the largest ever lens for astronomy so that it can see as much of the sky as possible. Now, today, we got to be at that watch party where the staff got to see some of the first images from the observatory. The unveiling of those images, it happened in Washington. Washington, D.C., where it was streamed out for Slack here, and then people across the country and around the world to see. The images were showing off stars, galaxies, cosmic dust, asteroids that have never been able to have been captured before. You should have heard some of the gaps in the audience today. And the pictures we saw today show off just a small percentage of what the camera has captured. In order for the human eye to see the entire image from the Rubin Observatory, you need to have 400 Ultra HD TVs. So that means incredible opportunities for research and discovery. The entire Rubin team is so excited about this data. We have been talking about this data for over two decades. It's finally here. All of this is leading up to the Legacy Survey of Space and Time. So for 10 years, the camera is going to scan the sky repeatedly, creating an incredibly detailed time-lapse record of the universe. The hope is to study a range of things like dark energy causing the universe's expansion, plus how galaxies form across the entire universe. And the data collected from the camera is going to be public, so it's open to the entire U.S. scientific community and some select foreign partners as well. And that 10-year survey is set to start later this year. So everybody is really looking forward to what they're going to be able to learn from that and the discoveries that are going to happen. And again, the camera getting all those images created right here in the Bay Area.